गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट आई एम निवेदिता सिंधियो ऑफ मारवाड़ी कॉलेज इंग्लिश डिपार्टमेंट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक योर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस फॉर इंग्लिश कोर दैट इज ऑफ हंड्रेड मार्क्स एज इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो हाई हैव स्टार्टेड विद द बुक वी स्टार्स फ्रॉम इंग्लिश कोर लेसन नंबर वन वॉज कंप्लीटेड एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक लेसन नंबर टू फ्रॉम द बुक वी स्टार्स लेसन नंबर टू द टाइगर किंग बाय कल की देर आर थ्री मेन कैरेक्टर्स इन द स्टोरी महाराजा जिलानी जंग जंग बहादुर एस्ट्रोलॉजर एंड दीवान द स्टोरी स्टार्ट एज द टाइगर किंग इज डेड एस्ट्रोलॉजर्स हैड फोर टोल्ड दैट वन डे द टाइगर किंग वुड एक्चुअली हैव टू डाई He would grow up to become the hero of heroes, the champion of champions. But the child born under that star would one day have to meet his death. A great miracle took place. The ten-day-old Jilani Jang Jang Bahadur spoke very clearly. He told them that all those who were born would have to die one day. there was nothing new in that there would be some sense if anyone could tell him the manner of his death everyone stood stunned an infant born just 10 days ago was talking in such a manner the chief astrologer told the prince that he was born in the hour of the bull the bull and the tiger were enemies therefore his death would come from a tiger the maharaja starts out on a tiger hunting there were numerable innumerable forest in the pratibandhapuram state they had tigers in them the maharaja was overjoyed when he killed his first tiger he sent for the state astrologer and showed him the dead beast the astrologer told that the maharaja would have to kill 99 more he must be very careful with the 100 tiger the king asked what if the 100 tiger were also killed the astrologer declared that in such a situation he would tear up all his books on astrology he would set fire to them then the king would have no trouble the state banned tiger hunting by anyone except the maharaja if anyone dared to disobey all his wealth and property would be confiscated the king did face some problems too sometimes the bullet missed its mark once a tiger jumped upon him and he fought the beast with his bare hands once a high ranking british officer wished to hunt tiger in pratibandhapuram but he was refused permission he would hunt other animals except the tiger the maharaja stood in a danger of losing his kingdom itself he managed to retain his kingdom but he did so by offering a bribe of 50 gold rings worth 3 lakhs of rupees to the british officer's wife the maharaja's tiger hunts continued to be highly successful he was able to kill 70 tigers within 10 years the king's mission of killing tigers came to an halt the tiger population became extinct 
in the forest of Pratibandhapuram. The king decided to marry in the royal family of a state with a large tiger population. The Diwan found out the right girl. Maharaja Jangjang Bahadur killed five or six tigers each time he visited his father-in-law. In this way, he was able to kill 99 tigers. There remained just one tiger to reach his tally of a hundred. If he could kill just one more tiger, the Maharaja would have no fears left. Then he could give up tiger hunting altogether. He had to be very careful with the last tiger. But the hundredth tiger was found nowhere. The Maharaja became very sad. The Diwan realized that the tiger must be found out soon. Otherwise, the results could be quite dangerous. A tiger was bought from the People's Park in Madras Zoo. It was brought straight to the forest where the Maharaja was hunting. The Maharaja took a careful aim and the tiger fell down in a heap. The Maharaja became elated at killing the hundred tiger. After he had left, the hunters had a closer look at the tiger. The tiger was not dead. They decided that the Maharaja must not know that he had missed the target. So one of the hunters killed the tiger. In this way, 100 tiger was not killed by the Maharaja. A few days later, the Maharaja's sons third birthday was celebrated. The Maharaja bought a wooden tiger from a shop as a special gift for him. On that day, father and son played with the wooden toy tiger. Its surface was rough. One of those needle-like silvers pierced the Maharaja's right hand. The next day, Infection flared up in his hand. In four days, it developed into a sprouting sore. Three surgeons performed an operation. The operation was successful, but the Maharaja was dead. In this manner, the hundred tiger took its final revenge upon the tiger king. And in this way, the astrologers foretold had become true. And this is the end of the story. We will start lesson number three in our next video.